The Kitt Peak National Observatory Visitor Center is a nonprofit through its parent organization, Aura, the Association of Universities for Research in Astronomy. Our nighttime guests at Kitt Peak get to view many different types of objects through the telescope during our programs, including planets, stars, and nebulae. Some of the most challenging yet most intriguing objects to look at through a telescope are galaxies. Galaxies come in all shapes and sizes, and while they may seem unassuming at first glance, they represent the most distant things we can make out in our universe. Until the early 1900s, galaxies were known as nebulae, with most scientists believing that they were merely gas clouds within our Milky Way. Even the nature of our Milky Way as a rotating disk of stars was not fully known until about 100 years before that. But observations of variable stars and Doppler shifts confirm that many of these so-called nebulae were not clouds in our galaxy at all, but were accumulations of stars tens to thousands of times farther away than everything else we see in the sky. They were given the nickname Island Universes and eventually came to be known as galaxies from the Latin word for Milky. Besides our Milky Way, the brightest galaxy we can see from the Northern Hemisphere is the Andromeda Galaxy. To the naked eye, it appears as a faint smudge within the constellation Andromeda, hence the name. What you're seeing is really just the bright core of this galaxy, with the full diameter extending about six times the width of the moon in our sky. This is the closest large galaxy to our Milky Way at a distance of about two and a half million light years. To put that in perspective, if you held a tennis ball in one hand and a baseball in the other and stretched them out as far apart as you can reach, that approximates our two galaxies to scale, with Andromeda a little larger than our Milky Way. From the southern hemisphere, there are two brighter smudges in the sky known as the Magellanic Clouds, which are dwarf galaxies gravitationally bound to our Milky Way. While the Milky Way has hundreds of billions of stars, these have only hundreds of millions to billions of stars. Relative to our tennis ball Milky Way, these would be like a large and small marble moving only a few inches away. These are only a tiny sample of the estimated trillions of galaxies found in our observable universe. There are three main types of galaxies based on their shapes, spiral, elliptical, and irregular. Most people are familiar with the spirals known for their beautiful swirling arms. Ellipticals don't have these arms, but can be much larger and are usually made of very old stars. Irregulars don't fit into either of these categories and are usually the result of galaxy collisions. While most galaxies are separated by extremely vast distances, some of them are close enough together that they can collide and often merge together to make bigger galaxies. This process is messy, wildly distorting the shape of the galaxies and sometimes flinging stars away from their home galaxies altogether. In a few billion years, this is what is expected to happen with our Milky Way and the Andromeda Galaxy. Galaxies often exist in families. Our local group consists of the Milky Way, Andromeda, and a few dozen other smaller galaxies. But there are clusters that contain hundreds or even thousands of galaxies. The closest galaxy cluster to us is the Virgo Cluster, about 50 million light years away. One last thought to leave you with is that when we look out at such distant objects, we are also looking back in time. Galaxies offer a snapshot of what our universe looked like millions or even billions of years ago. This is teaching us about the role that dark matter and dark energy play in the cosmos and offer us the potential of new physical discoveries as well. The Kitt Peak Visitor Center's Dark Sky Discovery Program typically features some of the more challenging objects such as galaxies. For information about this and all of our programs, check out visitkittpeak.org. The Kitt Peak Visitor Center brings the science of astronomy to the public through exhibits, daytime tours, and nighttime observing programs. This mission is funded solely by your patronage and generous donations, and we thank you for your continued support. See us online at visitkittpeak.org. The National Observatory is located southwest of Tucson on land of the Tohono A'atham Nation.